What's up, guys? Fan over here. So, guys, it's, it's game update day. We had two blog posts coming in from old school escape. So, there's new Dragon Claws. So they added Wild Got Thick Sleeps and a, another Dead Memo blog. So, I got to read up on this because it's launching in freaking nine days, and I'm freaking nervous. You know, I'm freaking in, in debt and everything. I'm freaking stressing out. My so count is cutting in half. I'm not gaining so. I know it's that keep saying that, but it's just something I for you not and have you know. Anyways. Okay, so it's another huge blog post guys. Uh, it's, uh, so much reading for me. <clears throat> but, uh, let's check it out, let's check it out. Give me feedback. On a whole host of things for many of you since you get first look at them and some brighter sharpness and what they're each one. So let's go over this table they're presenting. The following rows are from Wednesday, July 10th. Blog update. Let's see, left row. Okay, okay. The players have a limited run in demo. All stars want to taste for themselves. Players will have an infinite run in Dead Man mode Armageddon. As a result. Really, infinite run. So they're disabling the run energy th sigils, very nice. Players ask what would replace the sigil of Farifido with it in Star Wars Relic Choices. And we'll be replacing with the sigil of Formidable Fighter. Which is moving up to a tier 2 and having his proc chance increase to 30%. No, it's here. Okay, okay, okay. So they nerfed the Feral Fighter, which is something that, uh, just like increase the ticks of your thing and uh, just adding a different slightly less cracked buff I guess players as we consider lifting on the desert treasure 2 completion requirements to put the wings you need, you need the quest to wear those rings okay never mind you could uh, they can or you can put it regardless they just clarify right there I know two weeks, man. You, you expect me to, like, I want to complete Desert Treasure 2. Where he's good was heavily bottleneck by many people grinding for defenders at the same time. Oh, yes. Eight times drop multiplier. Only for a first dragon defender. Oh. Yeah. You could have, you could have lowered it. Never man. Dragon defenders only convert, will only convert to 10,000 coins on PvP death. That's actually huge. Guys, I don't know. I do not have a ton of uh, gold to swap here, guys. When this freaking drops, so players ask for adjustments to some of the archaic emblem points, uh, shot rewards. So they're oh my gosh, they, they, that's huge how they decrease the rune patch to 100k, cool boxes 10k, but they're um, increasing the price of surge and ice axe. Players were pointing out that spamming clue scrolls were a really effective way to attain points during Apocalypse and ask for a penalty. What do you mean spamming clue scrolls? Oh, for points or whatever, I don't understand. Uh, I guess those are skilling points. Adding more quests to the auto-completed quest list to, for a shorter tournament. We'll, we'll be adding Nature Spirit Fairy Tale 1 and 2. Oh my gosh, thankfully. Yes. So we can use the fairy rings. That's also a bad thing because I don't even know how to use those. And Lost, uh, and Lost City is going to be done. So if you get 60 attack, you can make like a 60 attack cap. Uh, for a little 50 bracket. I'm not sure if you, you're going to have to be like 10 HP or something. But Boy, you guys make these freaking posts long, but... It's needed. It's needed. So, oh, hold on, hold on. I was asked if for a change to the Western Provinces achievement diary requiring level five in all roles. Don't. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you auto completed that. They're auto completing a. Uh,
Taken. I, you might be able to get your torso just randomly because they're auto completing it. Actually, no. You might. You might have to squat up to get your freaking torso. Ah, oh, such a headache right now. Okay, so we made fur a number of further changes to sigils in line with the. Uh, this is already these changes aim to occur the power of some sigils that are extremely strong in lower uh, combat brackets such as what? Oh yeah, the messy mage is pretty correct. Sigil of Ruthless Ranger has bonuses reduced from so nerfing porcupine. We're nerfing porcupine for the lower brackets, which is good. I don't, I don't even remember what that did. Well fed. They're also nerfing that a little. You can get you you're able to get to like 150 HP with well fit, so Oh wait, like tradable items will not transfer to World 45 guys. Your character, pets and non-tradables are transferable. And you get 12 hours of protection, so uh Yikes. <laughs> yikes. Oh, I'm I'm happy I just transferred that Void Waker to freaking Dead Man. Players had concerns about completing about completing the thirty fifty was that would be a to go to join the field world up. You have to be a level forty five at least, guys, for the final. That makes sense. Players reported a pyramid uh pyramid uh pyramid tops were at thirty K when traded when we convert to ten K on death. And now we converted converted to thirty K on death, that's huge. Some players reported that they'd like to be able to see, uh, gain uh, gain skilling speed, treat Nigel's XP lock is a common. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, so you can max out your account now. So if you want to make like a max out account, you don't have to go to the next bracket. You can just stay in that little bracket. Max out your account and freaking dead man. Go to freaking the next dead man. Right there, because it's going to be faster XP rates. And freaking, you have a max count in 10 minutes, so. Some players did that last round. You can have two freaking max accounts in 10 minutes. <sighs> Actually, I'm not sure if you'll be able to max out quick enough in two weeks, guys. Excuse me. Players nice. Players will no, able, no longer be able to trade inside the safe zone. Either player has uh, protection enabled. This is like to, to like nerf the swapping or whatever a little. Gosh, dude. Gosh, dude, it's so long. I'm sorry. Players asked to make trading to trading. Okay. Multiplier on their first kill of a new boss. It was the first kill multiplier on a boss. That's cool though. Players suspected the corrupt twisted bow might not have functioning as intended. They're nerfing it. I never used the corrupt twisted bow, guys. It's only. I think it was only uh, to be used against monsters, not players. So. And again, it's not that good of an item against players. Praise report is there's a quantity of rooms available up there at Dead Man. Okay, they nerfed that one. Hmm, how do you even get the Crutch ATL? I forgot the Crutch ATL. I never even, I don't know how you guys are acquired, guys. Okay, so they're nerfing it to freaking escape the timer, man. That's good, that's good. Player said the bird blast furnace was a pain since in other dwarves felt like it was operating the machinery on the dead man world world. Fully operated blast furnace. Thankfully, you can train up uh, your combat stats without training up your uh, freaking like HP and stuff with that. Foudor safe line. Oh yeah, there was a exploit last season in that uh, power door safe line. Thankfully they did. There's like a multi-spot so they fixed that. 
The Crota Darpo still felt extremely weak. Oh, oh snap, they're reducing the attack speed by two t ticks. Oh boy, they are they are actually making the dark bow very strong to <clears throat> Okay and now this stuff is just like some copy paste stuff from uh, May twenty fourth, which I think we did go ahead and uh go for Stadius Oh we're not allowed twenty attack requirement long size to steady at strength. So you can make like a, a little Stadius Warhammer account, but you have to have like really low HP for the 50 attack bracket, guys. Okay, we already went through all that, thankfully. Now we we on to this, guys? Or is this just copy-pasted as well, guys? It is, it is. Okay, so... Again, all these cosmetics and stuff. Is that a moat? No way we're getting a moat. Wait, how do we get this teleport? A new home teleport, no way. Wait, how do we get that? How do we get this? How do we get this still good? So I'm, I'm gonna get this still good. I'm gonna get this still Wait, so they're giving us a corrupt weaponry as a cosmetic, dude. That's kind of confusing. But yeah. 25k prize pool. Okay. One of the top players will win 1,000 each. Each of the five finale winners will re receive... Oh, boy. So five thousand or three thousand dollars for the winners. Oh boy. For five brackets, guys. So I'm, I'm just trying to decide what bracket I'm going to stay in here. I think it's gonna be either fifty-one to seventy or freaking seventy-one to ninety, guys. So I'm, I'm super excited, guys. I'm super excited, guys. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, guys. I don't have anything to swap, guys. We're gonna prepare. Get our PK skills up. I just gotta get Elite Boy and then we'll go out and PK, guys. See, see, see. It's not the end of the video, but oh, we got points. This is all stuff that's old. Um, let's go to the next Wild Gothic League. I have a new update, guys. I got a new update. I got a new, update. Got a new quest. So we have Wild Gothic Sleeps. Perilous Moons. Get some chain locks as well. Like, uh, is this like hot picks? I don't know. So, let's see, it's a Grandmaster quest, so it's a quest that brought Dragon Claws back into the game. They have actually upgraded the Dragon Claws, let's see, oh they removed uh, uh, Baron Keys from Zombie Pirates. I just want to see what the claws are. Please tell me what the claws are. Let's see. Quest rewards five quests. Oh my gosh, dude. Guys, we're going to complete this quest. Well, let's see. Let's see. They're bringing back the tormented demons. See, this is what it used to drop the dragon claws back in the day. Some giant like demon. So we have the demon bane weapons. We got ember light. Uh, 77 attack. Lowers the opponent's strength attack. And defense levels by 5%. Oh, they're base level plus one. Wow, so it's like a silver light, but purging staff, 75 magic. Oh, it's a, is this PVM, guys? When a demon is killed by this uh, attack, restore 25. Oh, okay, that's okay, that's cool, that's cool. So it's a demon specific. Now, and we have scorching bow, guys, so. Binds the enemy for five ticks and inflicts burn. Oh my gosh, they, so they brought back the bow claws. And now, here we have it, the bone claws. You have 175 damage over three hit splats. 100%, 75% damage percent. We wanted to develop a new set of claws that match the rest of the landing of the originals. Bone claws also bridge the gap in melee spec weapons and between the cheap and cheerful dragon dagger and the monstrously expensive dragon claws. You'll find that the tormented demons dropped a singular blown claw. So it's a cheaper version. 
Okay, okay. So, COX is still probably harder, guys. I mean, it looks like the Pride event's over. Um, <laughs> nobody told me how freaking OSRS was at SGDQ, so we, I watched that off stream, or actually on stream. And we have a freaking OSRS cookbook, guys. Let's see. That's nice. I was like, I'm spending some restaurant food, guys. You guys got good cameras. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to be playing RuneScape later today. So.